Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today I am rolling a den. I just got an engine coolant temperature high notification, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm gonna have to look into that. So Grandpa told I idled it down immediately, but then I called Grandpa and he told me to turn it off. nicer to use a roller than to pick all of the little rocks out. Some rocks you still do need to pick, like the really big ones that you're just not going to be able to press into the soil. Darcy's going to switch from chickpeas to barley now. So he's probably started seeding again. We don't quite have the second drill ready today, so we're not seeding with it yet. And hopefully I'll get done with the roller before we'll start using the next drill so then I can go seeding again. I really actually enjoy running the drill a lot. My pass went in a little bit here. Anyways, I do love running the drill. Not as much as combine, but it's still so much fun. And it's a little bit more laid back than combining. I'm just making my pass right here. I'm lining my tractor up first, and once I drive my tractor to my line and get it straight, the roller will follow, so if it has enough time to come around, it will get everything from the starting point until of course, when I turn around again. I'm driving about 9.4 miles an hour. It does seem to be bumpier here than the other part of the field as well. And I've noticed a lot more rocks, mostly small ones, but they would still affect the machinery. So that's why we double roll some areas. Everything's looking pretty good on my monitor here. I look at different things on my screen. And it's touch screen, which is very cool. I can shut my, both my hydraulics if I need to but I don't really bump them so they can stay open. I, I think the owl was just a little bit up here, so hopefully we see it again. You think you're driving straight and then you come back the other way and you notice how crooked you were actually driving. Ooh, that's a very big rock. I didn't slow down for it, but I, I'm already going not very fast, so should be okay. That's definitely going to need to be double rolled. Oh gosh, we've made it back to the bumpy area. Slow down a little bit to go easy on the tractor. I've got maybe one, two, six passes left of this field, and then I'm done rolling. I'm actually excited to move on to a different project on the farm, but I've also really enjoyed rolling, so it's a happy and sad experience when you finish one thing on the farm going a little too fast there. I was going 10.6, so I'm going to take it back to 10 miles an hour. Seems to be a lot bumpier on this side of the field. I am now right by the fence post making my turn, which is kind of crazy. So, ooh, that got pretty close. Better make sure I don't have any wire caught on anything. Looks like I'm good, but I did miss this part right here so I'm just gonna go back over this last time and this part so I'm gonna go back over this it's always these ones by the end apparently now we're going to speed along back to my pass whoa okay that's way too fast maybe nine miles per hour is better I'm going to pull back in here actually go through a part I missed right here just get back into my pass it feels like I'm speeding Gonzales right now, but I'm only going 10 miles an hour. Darcy's still seeding the field next to me in barley. It's crazy to look at the whole field and know how much I've rolled, and then to see how little's left. It's just insane. Okay, now I see the coolie Uncle Chris was talking about. So, in two more passes, I'll only be able to finish up this top part, and then I'll come back and finish the rest down here. This whole part has been rolled because I had to make a little detour last lap and go roll a portion that I had missed because I wasn't watching the line. But instead of going around that, I'm just going to straighten it out and drive straight through. Ooh, I'm going a little bit on the fast side right now. There we go. 0.6 miles an hour too fast. It doesn't sound like a lot and it definitely isn't a, much of a difference in a car, but when you're in a tractor in a bumpy field, it makes a big difference. And you'd rather spend an extra couple hours in your field than have to replace machinery that's very expensive more frequently. I actually, I, oh my gosh, there's the owl again. I actually remember harvesting the field right across from this one that we're seeding to barley. This last. 
last harvest, so that's kind of interesting. And that field, I believe, was the one that I saw all of the hawks on the fence post, which was really cool. Just looking back to make sure I didn't have any skips, and it doesn't look like I did. So that's good. I've been really watching my line closely. I'm overlapping maybe seven feet right now, so I'm just going to move out a little bit. And I've come up to the fence post again, so I'm going to be very careful. thought I was skipping there for a moment, but don't think I am. Sometimes there's just variations in the color of dirt, which makes it especially challenging to see whether or not you rolled there. Because the darker dirt looks like you haven't rolled, but maybe it just wasn't rolled as well, or you're just looking at it when the light's shining right on it. The fence post is the part that makes my dad a little bit nervous to have me on the roller and on the drills, but I didn't come close to it, so that's good. I think I've now found my line again, which is good. Now I'm doing the part of the field next to the coolie, so I've separated from the last passes I was doing over here. And I'm just doing this portion right here. So I'm edging kind of by the grass. I'm trying not to get the roller in the grass because that's where people throw rocks. As you can see, there's already rock piles there, but I'm not sure if my loader is up enough to make it through this kind of steep coolie. So I'm going to press the loader unlock button and it says joystick lock disengaged. I'm just going to bring it back a little bit. And as you can see, it's gonna move the loader up a little bit and then I'm going to lock it again so I don't accidentally press it and hurt anything. I am now rolling the same area where I saw all the hawks on the fence posts up there. I was right over there so you'll definitely have to check out my harvest video which is just incredible. I'll insert a clip here. This one. There is a hawk on every single post up here. Oh my goodness how cool is that? All the way up there. Wow that's cool. They're starting to fly away now. You can even see them up there. Every single post. Yeah, it's really cool. That's what I was just looking at and they're on every single post. Yeah, I've never seen that before. And as I get closer, they fly away. Oh my goodness. Still one there. Whoa, look at them. They are so cute. So many of them. That's the wildlife for today. It's always so amazing to be in the same field you were harvesting. So we're planting this one back to back. And I'm pretty impressed with the line I've been able to run with the roller. It makes me feel like I could possibly do end passes with the drill. So that's pretty awesome. I just got an engine coolant temperature high notification. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm gonna have to look into that. So I got a high coolant temperature warning and on this last pass my coolant and fuel dropped from like three and two to one and one uh, check this out and i want to show you something what i think would, so would grandpa be... told i idled it down immediately but yeah. then i called grandpa and he told we, me to turn it off we were yeah that's a that's always a good thing i was just on my way down here anyway see what i think is happening this is the highest gear yep so, and, and, and because it's it's pulling harder on these things, it's probably overheating it. So if we had went down to here. That's a good idea. Uh, because I think the gear ratio is just less. You know, that means it's a lower gear, so it has more power to pull. Just like going up the hill in a combine. Just like going up the hill in the combine. Okay, so are, that makes a lot of sense because I did feel it having trouble on the, and I didn't know for sure. Yeah, and that, so I'll, we're, we're, I'm gonna start it up. It's a neutral part. I want to show you that this has a accessory. Okay. So you have to be careful when you quit because the other night when you, you got out, it was an accessory. Oh, is that all the way back? And it's, yeah. So it's like a truck. Well, almost. Come on in every Saturday night. What? Then, that's the See, radio. I didn't, I didn't have the radio on at all. There is being dug. That's probably to tell you that it's an accessory. It probably is a safety thing. I'm gonna have him take my pickup over and get the fuel pickup and one of those things to death because I don't think we could run it much longer. Now Austin and I are headed back to my vehicle because Uncle Chris came out and we need to refuel the tractor and put more diesel exhaust fluid in it because of the warning I got and we're not gonna drive it anymore without it 
So thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn a little bit more about how your food gets to your table. You can also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on TikTok, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!